What's up guys, I hope you all are fine. In this video, we are going to learn that how we can install the latest version of Anaconda Python on Windows. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. First of all, you have to open your browser and go to Google and then type here Anaconda. Then click on the first link, which is www.anaconda.com, which is the official link. So just click on that link and it will redirect you to their home page and this is their home page and you can see the big green button with the download on it and you can directly download it for windows and you can also get some additional installers so for windows mac and linux so if you click on windows so there are two options for 64-bit windows and for 32-bit and as well as you have options for mac os and for linux so it depends on you whether you're using window mac or linux so download 64 bit i'm using 64 bit that's why i'm clicking on it and now let's download it will take few seconds to download depending upon the speed of your internet connection so you have to wait for few seconds or few minutes so be patient so it has been downloaded successfully now click on open and you can click on the executable file so click on the executable file and let it open and it has opened the window so now just click on next and then agree to all the term and condition and now just keep as it is and click on next now you have to remember this path we can use it for the later use and now click on next and there are some advanced options so if you're clicking on add anaconda 3 in my past which is not recommended by this system as well so like it is not recommended to uh, instead open anaconda with windows start menu so we are deselecting it and now click on next and now it is being installed on your window so be patient it will take a little bit time depending upon the speed of your pc as well so because it is a heavy software so it can take some time so be patient now it has been installed successfully so click on so now deselect both these options and click on finish now go to the start menu and type here anaconda and click on anaconda prompt and now to check the python version and check whether it's working or not so type here python version so you can see that python 3.9.12 is installed on my pc so now let's close this and again go to the start menu and now this time open the anaconda navigator so so it will launch the home page of Anaconda and it will take few seconds to initialize the whole window of Anaconda. So let's wait for it. Loading application and this is the home page of Anaconda Navigator. So you can see here the different options like Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook and PowerShell, etc. So if we scroll down so we have other options as well like spider and other options so now we are going to launch the jupyter notebook so click on launch and uh, you have to uh, choose any browser so for right now i'm choosing the google chrome because it is an online software so click on ok and opening the jupyter notebook and this is the home page of this Jupyter notebook so click on new and then click on python 3 kernel so this is the ide where or this is something like ide where you can code so these are call cells so i'm printing here print smart programmer okay you can uh, easily press uh, shift and enter from keyboard or just click on or you can click on run so right now i'm clicking on run and it's called smart programmer now i'm uh, doing another program a is equals to one and b is equals to two sorry five and c is equals to a plus b and now print c 
so let's check whether it's working or not properly so click on run and the on and the answer is six so it is working properly uh, so this is how you can install the anaconda and launch the jupyter notebook and program on it